Hi everybody, welcome to Richard in the Kitchen today. Today I'm going to be making up some slow cooker baby back ribs. I call them root beer uh, baby backs because that's what I use to cook them with. You know, if you live in an apartment and you, you can't smoke or you just don't know how, this is the perfect solution for you. So come along with me, let me show you how to do it. First thing I want to do <coughs> is get rid of that slippery membrane. Just take you some paper towels it'll come off pretty easy most of the time sometimes it won't and you have to work with it but like I said most of the time that'll come off really easy next thing I want to do is season my ribs I've got some barbecue rub that I made up it's real simple to do you can also use any kind of pork rub that you can get in the store but what I want to do is just generally season my, my ribs Give that a rub in, and I want to season both sides. Just flip it over, pour you some rub on there, generously rub that in. Make sure you get the sides, and just cover these ribs with your rub, and give it a good pat in, and I'll show you what to do next. Once you have your ribs rubbed, on both sides just give it a flip now you can cut this in half or you can also take your ribs and just roll them up like this and set it in your slow cooker so that's how I'm going to do it because it'll fit in the slow cooker really easily so let's take this over to the slow cooker and get started all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line the bottom of my slow cooker with some onions. Just kind of provide a little base and a little extra flavor. Set your pork ribs inside your slow cooker. Forgot an onion there. And Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my crock pot with some good quality root beer. You can use Dr. Pepper, you can, you can use Coke, but I like using root beer. It's going to take about two liters. I don't want to cover it completely. Then, I'm going to add two tablespoons of liquid smoke since we're doing this on the slow cooker and not the grill. We just give it two tablespoons of liquid smoke to give it a little smoky flavor. Woo wee! I know root beer sounds kind of weird, but you just got to trust me. The last thing I want to do is sprinkle some dark brown sugar over on top of my ribs to give it a little bit extra sweetness all right the only thing next left to do cover it set it on low for six to eight hours and we'll be ready to eat all right it's been about six hours I'm going to take some barbecue sauce cover these ribs really good Man, they're just falling apart. They're so tender. Cover that really good. We'll put it in the broiler for three minutes to start off with. All right, guys, the ribs out from under the broiler with the barbecue sauce on them. Let's cut them up and give them a taste test. All right, look at this. Man. Really tender, almost falling off the bone. Mm -mm -mm. You know, like I said, guys, if you don't know how to grill or you don't know how to smoke or you don't have a smoker or you live in an apartment or in an area where they won't let you do that, you can really get quality ribs 
by doing it this way. You know, you can just set your slow cooker to slow or low setting for about five and a half, six hours. Seven, depending on your cooker. And you can just go about your business, watch football like I'm doing today. So anyway, give this a try. Hope you like it. Till next time, don't forget, be nice to everybody. Bye, guys.